And in Barack Obama, I see not just the audacity, but the possibility of hope for the America that is yet to be. What counts in our leadership is not the length of years in Washington, but the reach of our vision, the strength of our beliefs, and that rare quality of mind and spirit that can call forth the best in our country and the best in the world. With Barack Obama, we will turn the page on the old politics of misrepresentation and distortion. With, with Barack Obama, we will close the book on the old politics of race against race, gender against gender, ethnic group against ethnic group, and straight against gay. With Barack Obama, we'll close the door on the old economics that has ridden off the poor and left the middle class poorer and less secure. He offers a strategy of posterity so that America will once again lead the world. With Barack Obama, we'll break the old gridlock and finally make health care what it should be in America, a fundamental right for all, not just an expensive privilege for the few. <coughs> we will make the United States the great leader and not the great roadblock in the fateful fight against global warming. And with Barack Obama, we will end a war in Iraq that he has always stood against, a war that has cost us the lives of thousands of our sons and daughters, a war that America never should have fought. I have seen him in the Senate. He will keep us strong, defend the nation against real threats of terrorism and proliferation. So let us reject the councils of doubt and calculation. Let us remember that when Franklin Roosevelt envisioned Social Security, he didn't decide, no, it was too ambitious, too big a dream, too hard. When John Kennedy thought of going to the moon, he didn't say, no, it's too far, maybe we can't get there, shouldn't even try. I'm convinced we can reach our goals only if we are not petty when our cause is so great, only if we find a way past the stale ideas, stalemate of our times, and only if we replace the politics of fear with the politics of hope, and only if we have the courage to choose shame. Barack Obama is the one person running for president who can bring us that change. Barack Obama is the one person for running for president who can be that change. I love this country. I believe in the bright light of hope and possibility. I always have, even in the darkest hours. I know what America can achieve. I've seen it. I've lived it. And with Barack Obama, we can do it again. I know, I know that he's ready to be president on day one. <laughs> and when he raises his hand on inauguration day, at that very moment, at that very moment, we will lift the spirits of our nation and begin to restore America's standing in the world. There was another time when another young candidate was running for president and challenging America to cross a new frontier. 
He faced public criticism from the preceding Democratic president, who was widely respected in the party. Harry Truman said we needed someone with greater experience and added, may I urge you to be patient. And John Kennedy replied, the world is changing. The old ways will not do. It's time for a new generation of leadership. So it is with Barack Obama. He has lit a spark of hope amid the fierce urgency of now. I believe that a wave of change is moving across America if we know not turn aside, if we dare to set our course for the shores of hope, we together will go beyond the divisions of the past and find our place to build the America of the future. My friends, I ask you to join in this historic journey to have the courage to choose change. It's time again for a new generation of leadership. It is time now for Barack Obama.